I always thought I would be a stylist and fashion consultant, which is what I did before I opened what, and that that would be, you know, what I'd be doing till I was 40 or 50. What started off as a happy accident and kind of took over my life. I always used to get my nails done, I loved it. Going to the nail salon was always super social, but then, you know, the environment wouldn't be right, they wouldn't be playing the right music, we wouldn't be able to get a drink. I just thought I might as well do it myself. I really wanted to retain the true spirit of the street element of where we came from. So we had our salon in Kingsland Road, but I also knew it wouldn't be commercially viable to just have my friends over in the salon and have their nails painted. So I pitched a top shop. It really did make the jump from being quite a dingy, crazy studio salon to a really professional, slick operation. When I see these shining, happy faces of girls coming in, that's what makes me really satisfied. I always go out without my nails done. What I will not go out with is without my toes done. I feel I have changed the culture because, like, you would never see a bit of nail art in an advert on TV. Very normal now, but only because we've really made it normal. Before we opened, people thought nail art was tacky or ghetto. Or... So many people told me my business would fail. It was so funny, but I, I knew I could make it cool. And it's a London street attitude that's made it cool.